Hey, what's up, y'all? Preston from Fight Media 360 here. So, uh, this is a quick preview and prediction for Jose Petraza versus Julian Rodriguez. Hold on, guys. So, first of all, I just want to say uh, this fight is on the Shakur Stevenson versus uh, Jeremiah Nakatila undercard. Uh, I just wanted to get that out the way. So, now I'm going to talk about their stats. So, let's start off with Jose Petraza. So Jose Petraza comes in the comes into the fight with the record of 28 wins, three losses, zero draws, with 13 KOs. Now and he stands at a height of five foot eight and with a 70 and a half inch reach. All right. So now Julian Rodriguez. So Julian Rodriguez comes into the fight with the record of 21 wins, 0 losses, 0 draws, with 14 KOs. And he comes in with the height of 5'9", with the 68.5 inch reach. So he is the taller fighter. So uh, Julian Rodriguez is the taller fighter, and but with but he has a little bit of a shorter reach. Um, so yeah, so. Now we got that out the way. Now let's talk about what they need to do to win. Let's start off with Jose Batraza, the slight favorite. So what Jose Batraza needs to do is because um, um, Julian Rodriguez does move around. So um, he may like, you know, um, try to pick his shots, you know, kind of like what he does when he's moving around. Um, but he does sometimes like to just stay in one spot, but, like, uh, obviously the quicker fight is Petraza, so kind of like, um, like, kind of like fight, you know, with Julian, and then, you know, also outbox him, because obviously definitely the faster person is Jose, but, um, maybe, like, uh, and also the key to this fight is driving him to the ropes. If you can drive, if uh, if Jose can drive him to the ropes, that would be a big um, uh, factor for Jose Petraza, because Jose um, will just has like really really fast hands, and like it, on, when you're on the ropes against Jose, that's the spot that you do not want to be at. So like like um, drive Julian to the ropes, because it's gonna be very difficult for Jose. To try to fight him in the middle because they both move around, um, and um, they're both um, orthodox, so they both kind of are similar. They both like move around. Um, they both have the same stance, you know. So it is gonna be difficult to try to hit him because they, because they, because uh, Julian also moves around. So. Um, Drive him to the ropes, and then, um, you know, also when you're in the middle, just try to box, and like just be like Jose Petraza and just box. But then, like, and then what you do is also is like, the game plan is to drive Julian into the ropes, because, um, because Julian, um, because I I don't know because the reason why, it because Julian is a boxer. And again, I know I already said this, but he likes to move around. So driving him to the ropes is the best chance for Jose to win a lot of points. And then also outboxing him in the middle. Um, so yeah, because obviously definitely the faster and more skilled fighter is Jose in this fight. But the one who carries the more power and the bigger fighter in this fight is Julian. So, and also what Jose needs to watch out for, because Julian does carry some power. He do got some pop, so you def- uh, so Jose definitely needs to watch out for uh, Julian Rodriguez's uh, power, because his last fight against uh, Jose Lopez, um, I'm not saying that Jose is uh, um, uh, uh, Petraza, but um, he did drop him like four times. Um, so he does carry a lot of power and he is a fast puncher. So, 
um, Jose uh, needs to watch out for that. And I'm not saying that Jose has a weak chin. He actually does got a good chin, but he does get knocked off balance a lot. Um, so, yeah. So this is a big fight for both of them, man. Um, but that's what Jose needs to do is the key to this fight is driving Julian Rodriguez to the ropes and then uh, winning points on there. And then when you're in the center, um, try, uh, you know, being the better boxer um, against uh, Julian Rodriguez. So, yeah. So now for Julian Rodriguez, what he needs to do is um, pretty much um, um, not be the better boxer because it's going to because he ain't he isn't going to be the better boxer. But also catch like kind of like what I said in my other video with Nakatila, catch Jose slipping, you know, um, and then uh, throws a, a barrage of punches if you sense that he's hurt. Because Rodriguez, you know, he, again, he does carry power and he is a very fast fighter. And then also, um, uh, score points, um, and also score points in the middle of the of the of the ring. Because I, I think in like this Jose, like in the Jose Cepeda fight, Jose Petraza, it was really tough for him to drive uh, Jose uh, Cepeda to the uh, ropes. Um. And Jose was being the better boxer in, like, in the middle of the ring. So I would like to see that from Julian is to not go, not, like, you know, move too close to the ropes. Because if you move too close to the ropes, Jose is just going to beat you up on the ropes. So he needs to fight in the center and uh, be the better boxer in the center and uh, be the faster fighter against uh, Petraza. So, um, I know I said uh, not to be the better boxer, but, you know, because Julian is, he can box and he has speed. Like, this is a tough fight, and it's a really good fight because they're both kind of similar. They both move around. Um, they both have speed. So, yeah, but Julian just needs to be the fighter to fight in the middle and kind of like what he did to Jose Lopez, try to outbox, like, outboxing, um... Uh, like like outbox Petraza, drop him a few times, and then like you know once you sense that he's really hurt, throw a barrage of punches and then uh hurt Petraza and then stop him. So yeah. So my final prediction for this fight, very tough fight to predict. But if I but if I had to pick one, I would probably lean more towards Jose Petraza by a um, majority decision or a close unanimous decision. I just feel like he, um, like he just is the one that has the more experience and is the more skilled fighter than uh, Julian, and I think that'll uh, pay, uh, play a um, a big factor in this in this fight. So um, I just think that Petraza is just a better fighter than Julian. I think that he has more tools than Julian. Um, could Julian, I mean, could Julian does got head movement, but I just feel like Batraza would be just a little bit more of a better uh, boxer in that fight. So that's why I would choose, um, so that's why I would choose um, Jose Batraza by a majority decision or unanimous decision. So yeah, so that's my final prediction is Jose Batraza by a majority or unanimous decision. Make sure you guys uh, like and subscribe. I'm Preston from Fight Media 360, and thank you all for watching this video.